See, that's not a... We thing. can do something we, just as dirty and racist. Yes. <laughs> Don't think we can't, Opie and Andy. <laughs> it's a visual gag. That's why I always thought it was stupid, Opie and Andy. I was well, like, I was Opie and Andy fans when they were actually a thing. Yeah, fuck yeah. you, Opie and Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I liked when they actually talked about movies and things instead of when they did things. Well, anyway. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's talk about our show. Let's talk about show. our show. So let's do the, uh, I'm going to put my foot down. All right. Go ahead. Let's do the uh, the old before Blockbuster getting Skinamax before everything. You had the bead section. You had the swinging. You did. I say cowboy doors. You guys say what is it? We had beads. The saloon door. Saloon door. Yes. Right. And there was the triple X section. Yep. The now big box section. Thinking about this is something because I guess now the generation now with the internet having any porn type thing you ever want to how crazy it was that a mom and pop shop was renting no. not selling renting triple x pornography to people that they saw in their neighborhoods yeah. right and not only that you probably had your kids in there yeah. you walk in there knowing that the last guy who rented that just jerked off his fingers are and on then it. took that and put it back and then you're gonna take you're that gonna everything about it is so fucking bizarre no. to me yeah i remember being because a kid and just like looking in there sure see sure everything. but just I because it had the doors the if you can wrap a re- your head around the concept of mrs henderson is the clerk of the local video store and Mr. Johnson is Mrs. Henderson's daughter's softball coach. Right. And he's just walked out Mr. with a copy Henderson. of Stick It Up My Fucking Ass As Far As You Can. Part three. In Dallas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and the thing is, like, you had to, you had to, um, rent it. Yeah. Like, you weren't borrowing it. I no. mean, you weren't buying it. Yeah. This wasn't going home with you, private collection, buying it at the Wiz where nobody knows right, your name. Right, because everything now is so private. Like, you yeah. don't know what somebody watches. You don't know. There's websites for everything. Yeah. But no, yeah. this was... This was a huge, like... I mean, come on, man. Like, you knew everyone's secrets were just out there. Yeah. It was crazy, man. It could be a, a, your school teacher. Yeah, I know. It's just... Uh, I couldn't... The whole idea of it was just nothing, and we were so small at the time, you know, like, we were, we were there when, before we, those saloon doors made no sense, we could look right under them. Yeah, right, and my saloon yeah. doors were right next to the Nintendo Classic yeah. games. So, like, just, I'm doing that, and there's, like, guys just going through saloon doors, and I'm like, alright, I can't go in there, just saloon doors, I'm yeah, not allowed yeah. to. Obviously, saloon doors means I can't go in there. Yeah. It wasn't like anybody was paying attention to No, school, if, I, if I just there. snuck in there, no, I literally could have walked under yeah. saloon doors. Yes. But it they would have never saw them open. But the it, beads is when it got tricky. But it's such a weird. It, to me, it's such a weird thing in today's society where it's such a. It gets to the thing of the show Westworld. Yeah. Not the the movie Westworld, but mm-hmm. the, the show Westworld, I, and it's where you go out and you live your fantasy. You mm-hmm. show your so you kill people, you rape people, like whatever. Yeah. Like that. If that's what people want to do, they pay a lot of. You gotta pay a lot of money. It's Forty thousand dollars. So it's rich people are doing that. Mm. But in real life, who would... Sub- that has to be the ultra-rich. Who would subject themselves to that? Because there might be another person who's just rich, and he'll be like, God damn, I just saw, you know, Donald Trump in there. Yeah. Or I just saw... Name, like, a billionaire, you know? Yeah. Like, I just saw him in Westworld when I was with my family on vacation, you know? We yeah. went on, like, an Oregon Trail type thing where he was out there just shooting whores in the yeah. head. You know, everything is private now. The internet made it so that you don't have to... Do that. You don't have to yeah. go to peep shows. Yeah. Those are gone. The embarrassment is gone. The right. shame of doing things like this is, is gone. But could you, I know people, kids, like friends, like, yeah. and, and they would see their friends' dads go in there. Yeah. And that's funny. That's hilarious. Yes. You know, but like, that's some shit. Like, how you gotta fucking have a time and a room, like, to yeah. get a video like that? Yeah. It's just. I mean, the only thing that's left is basically going into the sex store to buy your the adult sex book store goods that you don't necessarily need to buy from there anymore. But people do it out of because you don't really like like you don't ever go on the internet really and be like, all right, I need to buy this dildo because I'm about, I'm planning on getting really fucking crazy in 
two to three business days. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, um, yeah, right, right. 